Hello Aries, welcome to your monthly reading. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's take a look at your cards. Let's get straight into it. Be sure to connect into your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you, of course. Just take what resonates from the cards and messages and signs that you receive and leave what doesn't resonate. Okay, Aries, let's take a look here at your first card. And you have the card of the Violet Flame. Invoke the cosmic diamond violet flame. Transmute all that is not love. So what I'm seeing is there is certain things going on within you or externally to you in your environment that is not in the vibration of love, meaning your highest path. It's not in your highest vibration. So this may mean certain people that you're around this week. It might mean your, in general, your home environment or your work environment. Something is not in harmony. Something isn't in balance. There's a lower vibrational frequency here that's coming into play. Now, if you channel the violet flame energy into your consciousness, it can transmute that energy. So meaning if you hold an intention to transmute or to change the energy and vibration and you hold that sacred space, it will protect you and it will transmute that energy within you. It might not change the external circumstances, of course, because those things are outside of your control, although it may a little bit, but the energy here is more about protecting yourself and making sure that you are not drawing or picking up on that energy yourself and integrating that into your being because that's not healthy at all. It might also be a wake up call because something that is not in harmony or balance or in that high vibration, you may need to let go of that soon. It might not be the right frequency for you to be around for the longer term. Okay, let's take a look at your next card. Open your heart. Love yourself and dare to be vulnerable. Maybe there is going to be an instance this week where there's an opportunity, I'm going to say opportunity, for you to be more vulnerable with someone or in a situation, opening your heart a little bit more. So stay open to that possibility. There is also a beautiful connection here, heart connection between you and an animal. It might be a pet of yours, um, it might be a fur baby, uh, but uh, but in more a general sense, there's a there's a beautiful connection between you and the animal kingdom. Beautiful connection. Also, self care comes into play here with love yourself. There may be meditations on your heart as well that could be very helpful, opening up your heart and removing any stagnant energy. Now, this deck is a deck um, that is going to bring through a message from your loved one in spirit. So if you'd like to think about a loved one in spirit, think about them now and we'll see what message comes through. Okay, this one here. Okay, so the message they'd like to tell you today is you are never alone. You are never alone. They are in fact close to you a lot of the time. They are around you. They can see what's happening. They're not missing any special events or moments. They are there. You, you are never alone. And that's the thing here because perhaps there hasn't been a connection or a true connection from you to them or you can't feel them. Um, as much as you would like, but they'd like to, yeah, they'd like you to know that they are around and that you are never alone. Okay, another message here, please, Spirit. Wow, okay, yes. I am standing right next to you, so that just confirms the first energy there. If you're not alone, I'm standing right here. They're very present in your life. Don't think that they're not, even if you can't feel them. They are very present in your life. Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. And we have the Parrot card. Listen intently to understand. So communication is important. 
um, because there may be there may be a misunderstanding there may be an an easy way for this to happen so it's important to maybe not speak and listen more or understand or have more open communication if you can with a particular person where you feel there may have been some misunderstandings in the past and the horse care for others and let them be free care for others and let them be free so this is about releasing control releasing control you can care for them love them and cherish them but you have to let them be free you have to let them go as well so place that energy where it fits in your life and what relationship that is for you guidance for aries please spirit Have a beautiful archangel energy learn from your challenges if you're going through some challenges at the moment relax and trust relaxation seems to be key here so maybe you're very tense you're very tense maybe you can feel it in your body and it's causing discomfort relax and trust and learn from the challenges that you have been through already. Um, if there has been a disappointment, a loss, or maybe there's some grief or some guilt, relax and trust and know that everything is as it should be. And remember to learn from your past experiences and challenges. Beautiful Archangel. Create a solid spiritual foundation. Now, what are you doing in this regard, Aries? Are you creating a solid spiritual foundation practice that you are involved in day to day? Spirit is asking you to maybe reflect on this and see if you can incorporate it into your life and be in service to the planet. Are you being in service to the planet? Are you giving of yourself? Are you giving of your true gifts? That's what spirit is asking you to reflect on. And I feel that if you do reflect on this, you will receive the answers that you need. Let's see what this deck reveals. Guidance for Aries, please spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Aries. The sun, beautiful, vibrant energy, of course, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. So having a gratitude heart is so important. You know what you can expect here, Aries, with this sun card is a great miracle. It will happen. There's a great blessing, a great miracle. Things will fall into place with the sun card. Plans that work out perfectly. Ideas that lead to rewards and success for you in an area of your life. Don't be afraid to follow your inspiration this week or over the next few weeks. The Queen of Spring. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. Maybe you're wanting to be home a little bit more, or maybe you're wanting to put a bit more energy into working. Maintaining a balance here is key. You have some very supportive people that want to help you as well, so you can reach out to them if you need to. The six of spring, wonderful news is on its way, smart choices that bring rewards, success and public recognition. So yes, the six and the, and the sun, very much an energy of that, that success and victory and being very satisfied with how things are going. So in fact, this month, there may be a breakthrough happening. I wouldn't be surprised if an area that's been stagnant is going to start to move forward. And the four of spring, 
Be grateful, you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness a contented personal life. So this is always a great sign if there's been discord, disruption in your personal life. If there's been disharmony, know that a contented feeling, sense of relationship perhaps is going to come into play over the next few weeks. Renewal. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. I feel this is a restart. This is flipping the switch on something. You're reflecting and then deciding, okay, I know what to do now. I'm moving towards this. Understanding your life purpose. Releasing judgments of yourself and others. That might be key as well. Perhaps you are being overly critical of yourself, judging yourself, release those judgments not only of yourself, but also of others and clear your mind space and it will bring peace to your mind if you do this. And the magician, you can do anything. The magician is the manifester. So you're able to create, create this month. What is it that you want to create? Take charge of your life, take the reins, make those phone calls, take that action. Change your routine, your lifestyle, your habits. You can if you want to. You can manifest what you need to be a success. And that might resonate in terms of your personal life or your professional life. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you're quite welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So you can trust your own intuition. Does this resonate with your question or not? It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and, I'll ha and have a fantastic month ahead. Bye for now.